Hey guys, it's Alana. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a weird video. Um, I want to try to show you guys how I braid my hair. And also, I have a foundation that I'm going to review. I got this with my Influencer box. Um, this is the Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. I got it in the shade... 0.3 ivory silk. I don't know if that's like my actual shade because the Sephora app said something different, but this is what they sent me. This is not sponsored. This is completely, um, they sent it to me for reviewing and like that's it. Um, so I thought that I would make a video for you guys so you guys could see how it wore, what it looked like. Is it even worth the price tag? It is pretty expensive. It is $88. I have never paid that much for a foundation. Again, this was sent to me for free, but this is a not a sponsored video. This is just uh, things that I get for Influencer, and I wanted to show you guys that because if that's something you would like to try out as well, I can leave my Influencer link down below and you guys can sign up through that and start getting free products just like I am so you can review them and try them out and help companies and help yourself okay let's fix this hair <laughs> a lot of people in my life don't know how to braid hair and um I kind of just like taught myself how to braid hair I don't know I have a vivid memory of being really young and like having a barbie and just like braiding her hair and I don't know, now I do braids all the time. Um, so this is my, me trying to do it. <laughs> I don't know if it's actually gonna work out very well, but yes. Also, I know I have a weird color t-shirt on today, but it says too cute to spook. Ah, how cute. Okay, so I have a pick here. I use this to part my hair. I got this from Sally's for like a dollar and I was like, it's purple and glittery, that's cute. So I just kind of start by um, parting my hair in whatever way that I want it to be parted. So it's pretty, it's a fairly good part. It's all on how picky you want to be with it. That's all up to you on how picky you want to be. If you see any um, Xandrif, you better just look away. Okay, I've got scalp psoriasis. Don't be judging me. I'm a human. Oh, this look, man. All right, so I have no idea how the back part looks and... I'll be honest, I don't really care. So I take half of my hair and I'm gonna put it up so it's out of the way. Okay, so now I like to get my hair wet. So I have a misting spray bottle here. I'm gonna spritz my hair. And then I'm gonna take a wet brush. This one's really cute, it's nice and sparkly. And then brush my hair. So again, this might not work for everybody because I have curly hair, but I've braided multiple types of like hair textures. Ooh, look at that. Why don't you brush your hair? Uh, I've braided multiple types of hair texture and um, I prefer to braid it when it's like damp or yeah damp. I can do mine like wet because I have more like my hair like sticks to it better. Um, but if you have like straight hair or hair that's a little bit more slick maybe use like a texturizing spray sea salt spray or just like have it be damp. Um, I really like to make sure that the front here 
is like wet because I don't want there to be like ugly dry parts. So braiding takes practice and I am not perfect by any means. I am not, you know, I just do my best. Um, and your arms might get tired in the beginning. You get used to it. Sometimes my arms get so tired and I just get so annoyed. <laughs> so I, I bring my hand around my head and I grab a small piece and then I grab another small piece. So I'm holding it with two fingers and then I have another small piece, okay? So I usually hold one piece with my thumb, one piece with my index and then my other hand. So now I can grab with my pinky, bring that one over, grab hair, bring that one over, grab hair, So I hope this is showing, um, my suggestion to you would be when you're watching this, if you cannot follow to, um, slow it down. So basically I'm just, if you know how to do a normal braid, you should know how to do this. You're just adding hair each time a piece of hair gets near the edge, like not the inside, I guess. So every time your hair comes over like this, grab some more hair. And I'm pulling pretty tight on my head. So if you have a sensitive head, you're either going to need to get over it or um, not braid your hair. Again, you guys, this just takes practice. As you can see, like, it's not perfect right there, but I don't, I'm not going to fix that because I ain't got time for that. And I just try to, so where, what, what? So if something like this happens... I would try to find somewhere it would work best and then and then once I get down to the bottom of the base of the head I really just pull really tight just because I want it to be tight onto my head I have no idea if this is even working for you guys but hopefully you will get so I'm holding it pretty tight and then I just kind of like pull down the hair to it's like I'm brushing it with my hands I guess like just like smoothing it as I'm braiding so I would say you want to try to tight braid your hair as tight as you can because you can pull it out or it is, if your hair is like not that textured it's gonna like slip out so if you braid it loosely it's just gonna fall apart so you would need like to dampen your hair or put some type of texture in there, some gel, something to kind of get it to be a little grippy and then try to follow the steps. Um, and then I just kind of go down until I feel like stopping. So you can use two different types, I guess, of bands that you want. You could use something like this, which is just like a rubber band. I have them. I don't always like to use them. I will use these. I got these little guys at Target because I don't want to damage my hair that much. That's why I use scrunchies all the time. So then I just, you know, do that. And there's my little end. And then I'll like give it a little twirl. And then, so see that piece? You can tuck it in or you can just... Pull the braid apart a bit to make it look like it was supposed to be there. I like tucked it in a little bit there and then that's the braid. 
So then now you would continue it on this side. So let's go. I got this bottle here at Sally's um, for like, I don't know, six, eight dollars. You can get them on Amazon, but I would suggest if you're gonna get a bottle that mists, to not get the ones that have the bag inside. Um, that was what I had the first time around when I got one and just, you know, wasn't my thing. I didn't like the bag because it would kind of scrunch up and then um, you'd have to like, Fill it up with hot water to try to get all that hair, or hair, to try to get the bag to kind of open up again, and it was just obnoxious. So, so I grab a piece of hair towards the part, another hair, and then another hair. Again, I've got the first piece right over my thumb. I've got the second piece with my index finger. And then the third piece right now is with my third finger, but it will be with my other hand. So and then I bring it over, grab some hair, bring that piece over. Again, when you get to the base of your head, you want to pull it pretty tight so you don't have like a weird like bagginess in the back. I don't know how to explain it. This just takes a lot of practice. You have to be patient and um, you'll get there. So again, I have one of those little like sticking out pieces. Show you what I do with that. In a moment, once I get to the end of this braid. Ooh. Yeah, girl, yeah. This is my hair braided. And then I have this piece here that's kind of flicking out there. So, like the other side, I can kind of pull it apart gently. Like I had done already. Just to give myself some texture there and um this is the finished look for my braids i'm gonna try and spin around so you can see the back no idea what that looks like but there you go now that i am braided we are gonna go on to this tom ford foundation i'm gonna prime my face first with the origins primer I'm prime, girl. I'm taking it out of the box. Ooh. It's got some really pretty packaging. It kind of reminds me of Hourglass. So this is Tom Ford. This is Hourglass foundation stick. Um, when you, It's got Tom Ford on the top. This has Hourglass glass on the side here. They're pretty much the same exact color though. This again is in the shade 0.3 and then I'm going to just compare the color to my hourglass stick which is the shade porcelain. So that's what they look like on camera. I don't know how this is going to work but just thought I would show you guys that because I'm pretty sure I've done a video using this so. All right, I rolled it up and now I'm gonna smear it on my face. I don't wanna do too much because I don't know. It says it's um, for normal to dry skin. It says that it is a natural finish and um, it's full coverage. So 
I'm gonna get my sponge dampened a bit. So this is probably not my correct color, but I'm gonna wear it for you guys today. So, and because I wanna see how this foundation wears. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. All right, I'm gonna take a foundation brush because that might be a better thing to use. Oh yeah. It's kind of easier to blend this way. A lot easier to blend. So I added extra to this side, so I'm gonna add a little bit extra to this side, and then I'm gonna get my neck because I don't think this is like my exact shade. And then a little bit more on my nose. It's not, I'm gonna zoom in real quick. I'm not the biggest fan of how it's looking on my nose. I did use a pore filling primer, so I don't know why it's doing that, but I mean, a lot of foundations do that on my nose, so it's not like it's anything new, but it's just kind of annoying, but. So I would say I am mostly a person who likes to blend their foundation with um, a sponge, but using a brush with this foundation worked way better. I'm going to use the Tarte Creaseless Concealer today in the shade 13N Fair Light Neutral to conceal. Uh, I just feel like it kind of matches my this color better than my usual Tarte or NARS. Pounce that in. Just wanted to kind of cover up that nose a little bit. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try using the brush today to blend out my concealer. You know who else I would see use a brush a lot? Um, Nicole Guerrero. And like, her makeup always looks so good. She's just, she's good, you know? Um, I'm sure you've heard of Nicole Guerrero, but if you haven't, and I'm sorry that I'm butchering her name right now, but um, if you haven't for some strange reason, go watch her now. Well, not now. Finish the video and then go watch her after you're done binging all my videos. And um, I know I don't have much following, but if... Um, you do go and see her for the first time. Tell her that I sent you. Maybe, maybe she'll be my friend. I follow her on like Instagram and everything. And, um, she has this, <laughs> she's a tattoo artist that she goes to in New York. And he's so good, but like. I've never, one, I've never been close to Florida where she's from, and two, I've never been anywhere close to New York either, so who knows if that'll happen, but maybe I would like to have that happen one day. Okay, so I feel like my foundation is kind of looking weird right now. I don't know if it was because of how I blended it with the concealer. I'm going to zoom you in real quick. So you can see. So I don't know if you can see, but right here it kind of looks weird. It's kind of hard with freckles, but it just doesn't look very blended. And then on my nose. So I'm going to spray my face with some Morphe setting spray and then um, use a sponge. So I'm just lightly tapping my face.
So right now I'm going to go ahead and set my under eyes with my Hourglass Veil setting powder. It's like all I have for setting powder right now. So that's why I'm always using it. And then I always set the, set my nose. And then my chin. Sometimes I do like everything, but. I don't know today. Right now I'm just gonna really get underneath those eyeballs. Underneath those eyeballs, girl. Then I'm gonna spray my face once again to set all of that in and just kind of like help it to melt together. So this is what my skin looks like so far. I actually really like the way that it's looking. I will be doing checkups throughout the day and yeah. I don't have like a whole lot going on today. I'm um, off of work until this evening. So I'll probably just be doing like schoolwork, running some errands. So I'm not gonna do a big crazy look. Um, I'm gonna use my Gimme Brow right now on my eyebrows. The girl who did my brows like really took off this side and it's sad because this side is like more full and I feel like it looks more like natural and this side's like, where'd the end go? I'm gonna highlight my face. All right, you guys, so I kind of feel like doing um, a winged liner today. I'm going to use the Stila all, Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. I'm going to zoom you in just so you can see what I'm doing. So I pretty much do the whole thing and then here's my eyeball and so I'm going to make that line go along with my eyeball so my eyeball goes like this so it's going to go like that. And that's what it looks like so far. Real quick before I forget. Um, it's 11.24 right now, so I would say I put this foundation on around 11 10 in the morning
So this is what I look like now with winged liner on. I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and lips real quick. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look with the lashes and some lipstick. I used Bite Beauty um, lipstick in meringue, in case you were wondering. And now I'm going to zoom you into my face again so you can see how this foundation looks. And then I will do some check-ins throughout the day. Okay, so you're all zoomed in and here we go. All right, you guys, so that is how it looks right after I freshly applied my makeup. And um, I will be checking in with you guys later on throughout the day and showing you what it looks like. So see you in a little bit. Hey, you guys, it's Alana. Um, I'm on my way to work. It is 3.30 right now, so I wanted to check in with you guys and show you how my face looks. Not too bad, um, but my session ends at 7, so I will check in with you again around then. Hey guys, it's Alana checking in again. It is 7 p.m. and this is how my face is looking. Not terrible, but it doesn't look like I have a whole face of makeup. All right, you guys, so right now it is 8 p.m. and this is my final check-in. I've had this foundation on for about eight and a half hours and I am ready to end the night. So I wanted to hop on here and show you the end of the day. So I'm gonna zoom in real quick so you can see how my face looks. So, I would say that overall my skin looks pretty normal. Um, my nose is acting up, but that's something that just happens for me with foundation. Um, I wouldn't say it's anything more than usual um other than that it just doesn't even really feel like i have anything on anymore but i still look like i have makeup on so i think that is pretty <clears throat> so it doesn't feel like i have makeup on right now but it still looks like i do and I think that is something that is a pretty good um, aspect of this Tom Ford foundation. So overall, I would say that this is a good foundation. I'm not sure if I would have purchased this for myself, um, given the price tag, but I am very grateful and happy that I was able to review this item and again this is a non-sponsored video this is not sponsored by influencer um i don't have to make a youtube channel or <sighs> i don't have to make a youtube video about it um but they do send me samples of items for review and if you liked this video please give me a thumbs up, comment um, what you took away from this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!